Join us this evening as we take a journey into darkness, a look at the blacker side of humanity, a venture into evil itself, Adolf Hitler, Dracula, Genghis Khan. These are just some of the impossibly wicked, undeniably odious figures who will not be joining us here tonight, because they all have agents and refuse to do non-union work. But we don't need them. We have assembled some of the most evil B-list historical villains, literary figures, and cultural icons, and have summoned them here in one room to discuss politics and current events in a roundtable style discussion. The Countess of Exsanguination, Elizabeth Bathory. I never drink wine. General Pandemonium, Belisarius. You don't know who I am. Mr. Monopoly himself. Uncle Pennybags. I'm a caricature. The Archdeacon of Evil, Claude Frollo. To hell with all of you. The Prince of Moral Panic, 1960s public information films. Always be afraid. And left-wing counter-analyst, Maximilian Robespierre. Death to the aristocracy. Issue one. President Bush of the United States of America led a siege on the Middle Eastern country of Iraq. Billions of dollars later, the occupation of Iraq is looking bleaker by the day. What is America's next move? Discuss. Hello, and welcome to Weapons of Mass Destruction and You. I told you to be afraid. I'm with PIF here. We need to blow Iraq off the face of the earth. The only question is, how are we going to do it? Are we going to rely on some weak American military? Or are we going to choose someone who's more suitable for the job? And just who would that be? I'm talking about me. I am a weapon of mass destruction. I kicked those Arabs' asses back in the day, and I'll do it again. Just get me some horses, some equipment, some weaponry, and 400,000 men, and I'm good to go. How about you? When did you defeat the Arabs? Battle of Tours, man. I was there. No, you weren't. That was Charles Martel. Maybe it was. And maybe he's dead. But his legacy will live on in my name. Because I've got his hammer. Well, of course, the war is good. It gives the military-industrial complex a chance to make a quick buck. And the profits that we make from the oil in Iraq will almost be enough to pay for my dinner tonight. <laughs> I'm rich. If you're so rich, why do you wear a paper mustache? Because it's fashionable. Indeed. Although I think the real question here is, why settle for oil when you can have gold? You're right! Okay, everyone, load up the horses. We're invading Africa. We're headed straight to Ghana. And Molly, they've got gold. No, I don't think they do anymore. Shut up, Frenchie. Okay, everyone, here is the plan. We're going straight to Timbuktu. When we get there, we're gonna sack, pillage, kill the men, and rape the women, who we're then going to kill. Africa will flow with blood. Yes, blood, 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 blood. <laughs> yes, who else is with me? Okay, no one. That's fine. I'll find someone else. Money bags, this is gonna cost a lot of money, and need you to finance this expedition. Look, I know your heart is in the right place, but I'm really not sure you could just up and kill an entire continent. I mean, I think there are some, uh, moral implications. Oh, come on! It's just Africa! It's not like they're real people or anything. Hello, and welcome to Political Correctness and You. Watch what you say. You never know who may be listening. Shut up! I like this man. Belisarius, take me with you. Together we will cause chaos everywhere. You and I, the streets will run red with blood. <laughs> yes. Come, let us torture and execute a thousand virgins to celebrate. I say, the two of you both seem to share a strong passion for brutal execution and cruel torture. Have you ever considered a career in the Catholic Church? Nah, I'm Eastern Orthodox. Burn in hell. Maximilian, do you have anything to say on the subject? Well, I personally think we should end the war. 
No, just kidding. It's a fabulous reign of terror. Issue 2. The 2008 presidential election is only slightly more than a year away, and we've just found out today that a new candidate has entered the race for the presidency. And he's evil. Let's take a look at his campaign video. Hello, I'm Thomas Hobbs. And with the 2008 presidential election just around the corner, it's time you thought about who you want to run your country. Do you want another politician? Do you want another disappointing barrel of empty promises? Do you want another democratically elected representative congress? Or don't you? Because that's not what you need. You don't need another weak leader. You need a leviathan. So allow me to introduce to you my personal pick for the 2008 presidential elections, my close personal friend, Leviathan. Hillary Clinton is a senator from New York State and former First Lady of the United States. But Leviathan is an ancient biblical sea monster. Fred Dalton Thompson is an actor and former senator known for his role in the popular television series Law and Order. The Leviathan has appeared in various folklore and mythology for millennia. Barack Obama is a United States senator from Illinois. The Leviathan devours entire ships whole and drags seamen to their watery graves. Rudolph Giuliani is a former mayor of New York. Leviathan is a Leviathan. In 2008, vote for Leviathan, because he's not just a politician, he's a sea monster. So here's my question to you. Does Leviathan stand a chance in the 2008 elections? Leviathan? That was a simply ghastly idea. I mean, it's bad enough trying to support a, a king or the president on the taxpayer's money, but a legendary sea monster? Why, imagine the grocery bills. <laughs> Burn the upper class! Look, Maxie, I really don't think Leviathan is going to be a financial burden. Well, at least not to me. <laughs> Maybe the rest of you sorry fucks, but not to me. <laughs> oh yeah, how do you know? I contributed to his campaign. <laughs> Your thoughts, Elizabeth? <laughs> I think it is a simple question. Do people want a sea monster to be their president. I think you will find that they do not. In fact, recent polls show that less than 12% of Americans advocate having any sort of marine biological life in office whatsoever, let alone sea monster or leviathan. I think you will find that in the end, they do not want a leviathan in office and so they will not have a Leviathan in office. <laughs> oh, come on, shouldn't you be going on about blood or something? What? I'm not entitled to intelligent thought? Is that what you think? That I'm just some sort of novelty character? Fine. Blood, blood, blood. <laughs> there, are you happy now? Yeah, what's up with your blood fetish anyway? I bathe in the blood of virgins to keep my fair, youthful complexion. But it certainly doesn't seem to be working. You're uglier than a Jew. Hello, and welcome to Political Correctness and You Part 2. You really should watch these things. Shut up! Hello, and welcome to Shut the Hell Up, You Kami Bitch. And you. Shut the hell up, you Kami Bitch. What do you say? I am not a kami! Yes, you are. Magyar whore. Bloody tart. Aristocratic wench. Ugly Jew. No! Belisarius, my love, kill them all! <laughs> I'm not your love. If I can't have her, no one can. Want to dance, old man? <sighs> ah, crap, I'm dead. <sighs> All of this killing, it's making me old. I need blood. You, 
You look like a virgin. Oh, I say, Lizzie, you really must learn to control your temper. Why, well, I mean, I... What are you... Oh, I feel so lightheaded. You know, if you keep doing that, you could probably contract a fatal disease. <laughs> So I suppose that means everyone here is dead. Except for me, of course. I'm rich. What could possibly happen? Strength! That's our show for today. Thank you and good night. Drive safely.